sometimes it's a good idea to get back to basics and play around with some simple electronic components, even if you don't have a project in mind. Here, as well as the 9 volt battery, I've got a DC buzzer and some LEDs. The red is just an ordinary LED and the green ones are flashing. We'll connect these parts up in various configurations and see what effects they can have. With a normal LED you require a series dropping resistor between the battery and the LED. Usually its value is calculated to give about 20 milliamps through the LED. For a 9 volt battery something like 470 to 1K will be enough, although you can get the LED to light but much dimmer with higher values of resistor. With an LED the longest lead is positive, or if they've been cut short then you can identify the flat part on the side of the LED as being negative. Next we'll try the flashing LED. I've used this in various radio transmitter projects where instead of using transistors and ICs I've just had an LED connected somewhere in the circuit to give the on off pattern. You've just seen the LED flash by itself, what happens if you put it in series with other things that are otherwise constantly on? The flashing LED is also allowing the non-flashing LED to flash. You don't have to use LEDs with the flashing LED, let's see what happens when we replace it with the buzzer. We get a beeping effect, like a reversing truck. Next we'll try the two flashing LEDs in series. Now you will have to keep watching. They're about in sync, flashing together. Now you'll see they've gone dim, they're out of sync, now they're bright again. This is because the LEDs are in a series circuit, so the status of one affects where the current can flow through the other. Looks a bit like a railway level crossing for a short time. Now if you were to plot these changes, you'll see that it's a very low frequency cycle over several seconds. If you were to put these two in series with the buzzer, then you'd have quite an interesting sound effect. So let's give it a go. I don't think the voltage is quite enough to collectively power the two LEDs in series and the buzzer. Now putting the LEDs in parallel means that they can flash independently um, and the current of one doesn't affect what happens to the other. As you can see they're slightly different frequency so they're not always in sync. They move more or less in sync than out of sync. Now we've got the LEDs in parallel that should allow more current to flow into whatever we wish to power. So we'll first of all try the 
red LED. Next thing is the buzzer and the two LEDs in parallel. Because they are in parallel, that should allow more current to get to the buzzer and won't starve it. Once again, you can hear that the LEDs going in and out of sync affects the sound of the buzzer. The change is almost imperceptible, but it is there. This is just a few experiments you can do. Grab a few LEDs, preferably flashing, a few buzzers, a battery, and connect them up in all sorts of weird and wonderful ways. You can make them independent if you connect them in parallel, or dependent on one another if you connect them in series, or you could have all sorts of series and parallel patterns. I think it would produce quite an interesting effect and something to think about for Christmas coming up in less than two months.